Hey, yeah, uh, Analog Kid Digital Man here. We gotta get real about fret buzz. All guitars and basses have buzz. The important thing is, is it buzz that's above your fingers, where you're fretting the note, or is it buzz that's behind you on the back of the neck that does not go through your amplifier or get recorded? Let's dig into this. So I've got myself here. Uh, nice, uh, this is that Adam Clayton bass I mentioned before and it needed a full setup. I restrung it, reset the action, reset the um, truss rod and everything. Got her playing pretty good. Now, there's a couple issues on this guy. So let's have a listen to it. While I'm recording this also in Pro Tools, so we'll have the pristine audio example with my SVT VR for my UAD uh, plugins. We'll have that, and then we're going to get to listen to what this thing just sounds like here. So let's just have a listen. And since it's Adam Clayton, let's play one of his classic YouTube bass lines. So we got to hear the examples there of what it sounds like raw through my live mic and through Pro Tools, what it's going to sound like Amplify. You can clearly hear there's a lot of panic out there in the world that people play stuff and like, ah, oh, it's got all this buzz in it, there's something wrong. You just got to worry about what's coming out the other end. And uh, you got to make some compromises between playability and super high action and how much money you're going to spend and invest and set up. And it's wood. They're going to move. It's going to be uh, a little bit forgiving on your part to make it work. But this bass does have some issues. I found a couple of spots. And just to illustrate what the difference is going to be, I'm going to show you where we've got actual fret buzz that needs to be addressed with either a luthier, pluck machine, or some combination thereof. So... There you can hear that. See? That's not so bad. Terrible. Here we got a raised fret. So, I got that recorded, so you'll be able to hear every glorious note of that in uh, Pro Tools as well. So, let's have a comparison. Now we've had a listen, we've heard a fret buzz, or a fret buzz that doesn't matter, we've heard a fret buzz that's definitely got some problems that needs to be addressed, so hopefully everybody stops freaking out. You play instruments like this, designed to go into an amplifier, you play it without the amp on, you're going to hear all the noise. Not really that big a deal. If it comes through the amp, if you get it recorded, that's a big deal. Then we've got to adjust our playing, adjust the instrument, in many cases both. I'm your Analog Kid Digital Man. It's a helpful public service announcement. I hope we can all go forth in peace now.